The video topic today is fangs. I've covered fangs in depth a few times on this channel, but today we'll talk about if a venomous snake can be defanged. One of my favorite things to capture on film is when a viper readjusts their mouth, similar to a yawn stretching out their fangs, a term I like to call fang foldage. I take pride in the fact that I've probably captured fang foldage more than anyone else. I love it. A reoccurring comment I receive on some of these videos is, where are the fangs? This snake is defanged, or something similar. Clearly that's not the case. It's obvious that these people aren't aware that the fangs are covered by a membrane sheath. So if the fang isn't visibly poking out at the bottom, they assume it's defanged. Vipers have what's called selenoglyph dentition, the long, hinge-like fangs. When I receive comments like the ones I mentioned, I always think, just wait until they see an elapid, such as a cobra's fangs. Elapids is a group of snakes that contain mambas, cobras, and coral snakes have what's called proteroglyph dentition, fixed and short fangs. The membrane covers pretty much the whole thing, and it definitely can be confusing to those not knowledgeable in snakes to assume that there's no fang. But I was curious, is it even possible to defang a snake? The reason being is that these specialized teeth, fangs, are the way these snakes inject venom into prey. It's necessary in order for them to capture food. They are constantly replacing fangs, and oftentimes you can see the new fang right behind the old one. The old fang will fall out, oftentimes into the prey, which is why the majority of fangs that I find are from digging through the poop. Disgusting, I know. Sometimes, although rare, I'll find perfectly clean ones laying in the enclosure. So, if they are constantly replacing fangs, is it actually possible to defang a snake? The answer is a little complex. It's technically possible until a new fang appears. Under vet procedure, they have removed the fang along with the replacements, but how long will it be until a new one appears? Is it worth the risk? The more important factor is that the procedure will almost always lead to mouth rot, an infection in the snake's mouth that can lead to the death of the animal. So the chance of a snake being defanged is most likely zero. Without vet procedure, how do you know if all the fangs, old and new, are out? Is it worth almost a guaranteed loss of the animal? The real thing people often assume is that the snake is a venomoid, which is a procedure in which they remove the venom glands, another cruel procedure in my opinion. These are often easily identified due to their sunken in head where the venom glands would be. This isn't a common thing to occur due to the cruel nature, so if you see people working with venomous snakes, no. They aren't defanged, and yes, they still have venom. But hopefully you enjoyed and learned something in this video, and enjoyed seeing all this fang foliage and fangs. I love it. But subscribe, click like, and comment below what your thoughts are. But big shout out to my channel members. Now if you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a channel member. Get early access to videos, and exclusive videos, stuff like that. Click the description, follow me on Instagram. Love y'all.